I'm going to teach you an exercise that is called the spiraling teacups. This is a fantastic way to warm up your body, integrate everything, open up the shoulders, increase their mobility and their strength through the widest range of motion. So here's what the drill looks like. You want to hold something. A phone really keeps it honest. You don't want to grab it. You want to just support it, hold it. So you're not grabbing because that'll let you cheat. You want to hold it just like this without grabbing onto it. So I'm going to go big motions at first, then we'll break it down. It's a giant figure eight that I'm doing here. And you can see that phone stays up the whole time. So to learn this movement, we break it down into a paint by numbers approach. Get your object, the phone will keep it honest because you don't want to drop it. I'm going to start in the middle. I'm going to bring it out to this side, outside of my knee, and I want it to be at the knee or below the knee generally. I'm going to come to the other side, outside of that knee. Now I bring it up outside of this shoulder, and then bring it outside of that shoulder, and then loop it back to the middle. From the side, you'll see that there's an inward motion, inward motion, now outward motion, and then here. So it's a, it's a figure eight that's three-dimensional. And then what you'll do is you'll work that, trying to make it tighter and tighter and tighter, to the point where you can do it just under the chin. And when you are able to spiral it really tight, now you're really working the forearm muscles, the connective tissue. You'll have, you'll, it'll increase your grip strength. It'll increase the health of your hands and your arms and everything dialed into the shoulder when you can do it with that nice tight spiral just like that. And for warming up your body, you do it really big, let your body move, get the whole thing. You can come here and like reach it over the back, extend. So it's a thematic thing. You're learning how to teacup the hands and do that spiral. It'll help you with throwing, punching, hitting, everything athletic it helps with. Now, last point on this. I was going toward the pinky in this direction. It's better to start toward the pinky in that spiraling direction as opposed to going to the thumb. Going to the thumb is more of an impinging motion before you know the pattern. So when you go toward the pinky, see how the pinky's leading it right there like that? Now that's tending to open the shoulder as opposed to close the shoulder when I go to the thumb. When I get good at it to the pinky, I'm gonna understand because I'll feel the strength and continuity of my shoulder joint through a fullest range of motion, 360 degrees all directions. And then when I go to the thumb, now I'll know how to keep the shoulder safe. So what you do is you do that, say eight repetitions, each arm, maybe go through that twice. So you have a total of 16 on each side. Put an object in your hand, because if you don't put an object in your hand, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna come here, here, and you're gonna turn your palm that way. You won't even know that you're doing it because if you're not good at this and you don't have the body awareness, you need the object to keep it very honest. Don't hold the object. If you add weight to the object, put a five pound medicine ball in there, now you really start strengthening. So that's our spiraling teacups, fantastic way to warm up. You just have to do the reps. Make sure that you do 16 on this side, 16 on this side before your next workout. And then the next one, keep on doing it till it feels easy. Great job.